What's up, everybody? Welcome back with me, Addicted to Life, on some more GTA 5 Perico Heist DLC Car Customization and Review. Sorry, it's been a minute. I kind of took a nine day hiatus for Christmas and New Year's, and I'm back. And we have this beautiful car right here. She is the BF Weevil. You can get her by unlocking um, and doing various missions to get her because you can't actually but you can't actually buy her right now but you can get her for free and she'll actually show up in this area here BF Weevil and if you didn't know but you should she's based off the Volkswagen Beetle so I don't have the BF injection in here to compare her to but I do have all the DLC vehicles in here so far so and probably some other ones missing so anyways so let's get after it. This is a custom crew color at the moment, but I'm probably gonna change it. I do like the yellow though. It definitely gives a uh, definitely gives a different vibe. Um, classic color here. So might keep it, might not. But yeah, let's get after it. Alrighty, let's get this started. Armor we already have. I think we already have all the main stuff done. I was trying to cruise through this earlier. We got the brakes, so let's go to the bumpers now. So front bumper options. We can make this into a rally vehicle or keep it clean. I'm not really sure what we're going to do, but let's get after it. So we can do the bumper delete option. That looks pretty cool. The plastic splitter, primary splitter, secondary carbon splitter, no bumper, that primary splitter, no bumper, secondary carbon, extended bull bar to give it that rally appeal. Baja, I was about to say Baja, Baja, you got the, the injection, the chrome, chrome again, mmm, should we keep this clean, let's see what the bumper has, because I know it's going to have less options, so you can take the bumper and delete, you can do the plastic rear bumper, or totally remove the door, make it a rally engine, that's pretty cool. I grew up with one of these right down the road for me. Almost not like the BF injection, but it's almost the same color too. Um, shoot, I don't, I don't know, guys. Plastic rear bumper. You know what? Let's let's do um, let's do the paint first. We'll come back to this because, like I said, I'm going to probably change it. So my current crew color is this fiery orange color right now for core, so um, I think that's what we're going to do. Secondary, we're going to do the crew color as well. Keep her fiery red for now, and then we'll come back to the trim color when we are ready. Crew will be right there, looks pretty cool. Obviously your stock tires, which I hear are the best for this car, are your crew color, so those might stay on as well. I really like this car right now as it is, but we're going to have to change the stuff to make a video out of it, right? So front bumper. So we can delete the bumper. Plastic. I'm not a big fan of the splitters. Plus I've seen how, how much you can lower this car, so... Um, let's just do the bumper delete option. Let's delete the bumper all together. There we go. Engine's already there. Exhaust. There's 12 different options. So we got the two duels that kind of like those. The chrome, the big bore. The upswept. My goal is to have two of these beetles, so I think this one might be the clean version, and then we'll have a custom, like a off-road version or something. The upswept baby stinger, one. Whatever you desire. Big bore stinger, way out there. Upswept stinger. Well, they're just going crazy now. Got the side swinger, stinger. I keep saying swinger, stinger. Mega stinger. Mega side, and that's it. So this is the stock right now. Um, we're gonna keep them small right there, chrome right there. I wish they had like a black one on there, like carbon or something. But that's all right. Fender options. Where exhaust? We did exhaust. Fender options. 17 options. So the fender options is also your lights, headlight hoods, kind of like that. Wire stone guards, blacked out covers. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Um, then the fender starts popping out. The only problem with this is the tire's just not big, so doesn't look too great on there. Full on carbon, make it a racing uh, carbon fender. Loose it all together, chop it off. Primary carbon fender delete. 
stock rear fenders. Oh, so that's what's on the right. Oh, so you can do both fenders, stock and front. Mm. I so badly want to make this into another racing beetle. Yes, yeah, so I have a green one like this in um, Need for Speed Heat. Oh, man. Should we do liveries and come back? I keep switching for you guys. Let's look at this stuff. So we got the hot flames. We got the purple flames. These hot flames with this car, with this color, look really good. You got the air, no, Why backyard camo. Looks anything? like somebody pooped on it. You got the aired camo. The BF cup car. Kind of like the, uh, Herbie. Kirby car there. Looks pretty good all the way around. You got the Stronzo Racing. Looks pretty good. I like that. Not this color, but you know. You got the Evil Weevil. Looks really good on this color. Man, does that look good. Wow. The Barn Find. Forgotten Racer. Flower Power. That's what I'm going to call it. The Beatnik Beater. Tie dye. That's kind of what I was gonna go with. Something crazy right there. I mean, that looks pretty cool. Um, oh, there's flower power. Okay, got another piece. If I was making this for my buddy Xavier that died, he used to have a peace and love plate. I could see him driving this. And trippy vibes. Alrighty. So we got this one that I'm kind of thinking about doing. Or what do we got? This one looks pretty cool. Was it the flames I was kind of looking at too? Keep it simple. Let's go with the hot flames. There we go. All right, back up the fenders. Stock. Nope. We already got stock. There's the light things. You got the. See, it doesn't do that to. The, oh, it wouldn't need to do it to no, the back. All right. Should we change it up just just because? Let's do it. Blackout covers. All right. I'm gonna leave those on there. Oh, it actually changes. Eh, we'll leave it. We'll leave it on there. Stock again. We'll leave them stock back there. Hood options. Got Whatever the secondary, the carbon, the fog light. Those changes. The secondary, the carbon. Mmm. Not gonna make this a black vehicle, but those flames look pretty good. On um, black. Hood accessories adventure kit. So we can put some shovels and axes and stuff on it. No, I'm good. I'm good. Horn options. We got the clown horn. I think the clown horn fits pretty nicely. Light options. We can go whites or xenons. Guess we'll go white there. A neon kit. Should we put one on? Make it crew flame bright orange color sure why not livery we already did plate options we got the yeti we'll leave it yeti on there i don't think i really have anything that matches that uh roll cage options half cage okay half cage oh the seats the seats change too look how bright is it how jesus is bright in here half cage with street seats okay Ooh. cage with drift seats drag seats race seats carbon seat. Yeah, those look like they would not be comfortable. I like those. I like those seats right there. Cage with drift seats. Done. Nice. Roof. Primary. Secondary sun strip. Vintage rack. Seaside getaway. The rack itself with two tires. Off-road rack with tires and utility. Feels like we're taking out in SnowRunner business. Uh, vent Ooh, that Mmm, the surfboards, man. I don't have a surfboard car yet. I like that. It feels like Life we're coming in the summertime. A lot of surfboard options. Oh, you even got a different one there. Oh, I wish we could get the vintage wood board on a black roof. Mmm. Let's keep looking at them. Oh, man. Can't even get one that's to the side. There's a, there's a wooden one. That almost goes with it because the flames... Uh, oh, there we go. No, why is it? Oh, it changes the chrome. Well, I guess there's chrome all over this car. I still like this one the best. So I guess we're going to go with it, even though I'm not a big fan of that roof rack with it, but I like the surfboard. It's pretty cool. Okay, skirt options. So we got black here, chrome, primary. 
kind of like the chrome, to be honest. But I don't really have the, like, there's no chrome fenders or nothing. Primary, uh, secondary carbon and off road kits. Interesting. I don't know, should we go black or chrome? Make oh, you know what? We'll go primary. Or primary running boards. There we go. Spoiler options. What? <laughs> I, I like that. I don't know why, but I do. The carbon, the primary. So what's the difference between the drag wing and the race wing? Uh, don't really see one. Oh, I see the size change. Okay, so skinnier and then fatter. Carbon and extreme. Do you need a drink? Bubbles? Right. R no. No. Okay, so we're either going to go to the primary drag wing. We'll go with the race wing. I think that looks pretty cool, I guess. Looks kind of weird, too. But that's alright. That's alright. It's a weird looking car. Suspension. You go lower. Street. Sport. It's going out. Competition. And race. Flat no to the ground. Wow. I... I Kinda like that. I'm not normally a big fan of the cambering all the way out. Sport doesn't look too bad. Um, see, the, the suspension really doesn't move right here. It's just a matter of if you want camber all the way out or not. Let's go with this one. The, the, the sport suspension. Let's Whatever go with that one. All right. Transmission's already there. Turbo's already there. Wheels. If you wanted to change the wheel, I'd probably go with a street wheel. But the problem is you're, you're going to lose that color. You can't find that. Once you get the thing, they, the one thing they needed to add to this is be able to put crew colors on tire on wheels. But I'm going to keep the stock wheels. I think it looks really good on this car. And tire design can't change it. Smoke. We'll just go crew smoke. We'll make it fire all the way around. Windows. You can darken them out. Leave them none. We'll leave them none. I think that looks really good. I'm gonna wait till it's daylight. Out looks kind of foggy, and I'll see you guys outside. Let's go. I think it looks really good. I like it. it. Looks really good. Look after yourself. All right. So funny thing is, it's actually daylight right now. The lights are on. We're ready for the beach. It's like icy and snowy and crappy weather out here in Michigan, but it, oh, did you guys see it? Look at that. It goes through the fender. Oh, man. Oh, well. It's a bad, bad touch. Not a big fan of that. So, we're going to take it. We're going to take it to the beach. I think it is daytime out. It's gray and rainy as crap out, but it says uh, it's 11.02, so it's definitely daytime. I think this would look good if I took her to the arena and got some y'all lights on her. I like I like this. This the screw car, the flames, the surfboard, where am I going? I'm not even near the beach. This is what happens when I drive without a uh bath on my screen. But you gotta be able to see the full car. I've driven one of these with camera all the way down. It didn't turn very well. But this is actually handling really good. I don't think it's the fastest compact vehicle. Is it a compact? You know what? I believe this is... Oh, okay, that's... that's. Why do I always happen to ruin cars making videos? Let me check this out. I'm pretty sure this is, is a in the compact class. Yep, it's in the compact class. Let's get her down to the beach. Sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar, girl. Tomorrow. Ah, uh, what is that, Annie? You guys, remember the movie Annie? The original. Original is the best. Okay. Making my way downtown. I don't really know, know that whole song, but you know. All right, we're almost there. Look out. Man, that light, that light pole did a number on my car. 
Look out! Look out! That's right, look out. And made it to the beach. Made it to the beach. She looks all scuffed up too, unfortunately. Is what it is. Take this off again. Yeah, look at her. Look at her. Um, can I see that map issue going on? My wheels are. That's interesting. Just on the one side. Looking pretty good. Let's see what opens up on here. Uh, boom. Oh, see everything opens up, but oh wait, that o that does open up. Wow. That's pretty cool. That opens up in the back. I think there's a way to change that. Um, that engine option. You got the, the boot there. You know what? I'm gonna meet you guys back in the garage because I think there's two more things we can do on this. You gotta do the trim color, which I might just leave it as it is. And I think you can actually change that engine. Unless you only make it a, uh, oh, that's not good. Unless you only make it a rally, maybe that that's how you can change it. But I'll meet you guys back in the garage. We're back in, but I thought there was a way to change that engine in the back, but maybe there's not. Huh. I think you can put all these different chrome displays on it. Um. Huh, maybe not. For some reason, I thought there was a way to change that engine back there. Maybe there's not. And then, what was the other thing I wanted to show you guys? Trim color, you can change. Oh, that, that's the inside right there. And I think I'm pretty fond of the black. So, I mean, you can do yellow to match the livery, I guess. That just looks hideous. So we're going to keep it black. I think it looks pretty good. So. Could have swore you could change that engine. Maybe it's if you make it into a rally edition. But we're going to leave it. I like it like this stock, so. Pretty much stock anyways. So I was thinking, maybe the maybe I was thinking the other the other vehicle that came out with this DLC, um, the 300, maybe that's or the 500, the Brioso thing, maybe that's it. So here's our last look at her. We opened up all the doors. So yeah, check that. Out. I think she looks really good, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Have a good one. Peace. Oh yeah, it's bright. Have a good one.